rockets. We're not going fast enough for any of that to matter. But when you start going fast enough, you cannot use Newton's laws. You have to use a deeper understanding. If there's any planet that is terraformable, it would be Mars. The reason to do it is not to protect our species in case an asteroid comes and hits our Earth. That's the wrong... Fine, it makes a headline, but think about it. If you have the resources to terraform Mars and ship a billion people there, you have the resources to deflect an asteroid from Earth, right. okay? According to our known laws of physics, in the cooling universe, every matter and antimatter particle pair would have annihilated, made a photon, the photon would have cooled, and no more matter would have been made, and we would have had an entire universe of just light. But that is not the universe we occupy. One out of basically a million of these reactions, one out of a million, the photon did not make a matter-antimatter pair. It just made a matter particle. What? It was very... You're, you're trying to find out why. Yeah. And I'm just saying, it is that. How do that you we stop have a, a gigantic existential asteroid? Yeah, yeah, you don't asteroid. go in and you, you deflect it. How? Oh, by any shove on it that's sideways? Well, you're president of the United States. No, well, yeah, right? okay. There's a massive asteroid that's going to crash into the world. Yes. We have engineering plans for deflecting asteroids, and there are multiple ways to do it. You can have a gravitational tug, where you can have a spacecraft that sits just ahead of it, and the two of them will want to drift towards one another, but you take the spacecraft and put little retro rockets, and if you get this early enough, one 